Imagine you're getting a great night's sleep in your beautiful, cozy Airstream when all of a sudden you hear a noise. A mouse is in the cabinet next to you in the wall or worse yet, maybe even running across your pillow. Luckily, we didn't have a mouse run across our pillow, but we did get a mouse infestation in our Airstream stored here at our house. So I want to show you in this video the places that I went around and sealed up outside to keep those critters out and even a couple unexpected places inside that I'll show you at the end. So stick around. I'm Jonathan, by the way. And if you're wondering why you're watching this on a channel called Digital Barbell, it's because my wife and I own an online training and nutrition coaching company. But when we're not at home in Texas, we like to spend as much time as possible traveling in our Airstream. So let's get right into it. So one of the biggest offenders of mice getting into these campers is actually here in the wheel well, believe it or not. So let me show you exactly what I did to seal up this spot. So here behind and in front of the front wheel, there's this big gap that comes with a rubber gasket shaped like this, but the space between the gasket and the wheel well is actually like a half inch, a really easy place for mice to get in. So what I did was stuff this steel wool or copper wool, I can't remember which one I used here, all into the gap. You'd be surprised how much you can fit in there, but it seals it up nicely. Same thing here on the front side of the camper. You're just gonna stuff it in nice and tight. You're also gonna see inside here in the wheel well, I found all these little gaps between where the frame and the other bracing meets up. And there was like quarter of an inch gaps in all these little spots that I went through with some metal tape and sealed up. Let me show you some more. Okay, for this next one, I'm gonna crawl underneath the back of the camper here and show you some pretty big gaps that I found and sealed up that your camper probably has too. All right, so we're laying down underneath where the bumper is. This is actually the underside of the bumper. And then this is the underside of the actual camper where those two pieces of metal meet. This was a pretty big gap right here. Now you're probably going to yell at me and say, what are you doing taping up that gap with black gorilla tape? Well, I didn't have any metal tape at the time. So I went ahead and filled it up when I could and I'll replace this with some metal tape whenever this falls up. But that was a really big gap, definitely big enough for a mouse to get in. And I had it on both sides of the bumper right here. So check yours too. And actually, now that I'm looking under here again, I noticed that I have an even bigger gap down here at the end that I need to seal up with some tape. That's definitely big enough for a little critter to get in. All right, the next place that I wanna show you is underneath down here in the middle, and it's right around where the water tanks are. So let's get under there. Okay, so here's my gray and my black tank right here. And if you look up where the protective shield around the tank meets the underside of the camper. There were some half inch gaps right here where this L is. And every single tank on every single corner had that same gap. So I went around and taped all these also. Same stories in the back. I'll replace this with metal tape when I get to it. Now, while I'm under here, let me show you something else. This is the black aluminum that wraps around the bottom corner of the Airstream and it meets up with the underbelly right here. It's not a very tight fit right here. They could definitely use another rivet here. So I went along and sealed this up with some tape also. I can see that's already getting loose after my last trip. So I need to replace that, but that was a really big gap right here. So go around and check to make sure you have a nice tight joint. All right, now I'm up here in the front of the camper. Our camper has the battery box up here and all that wiring goes underneath and up underneath the bed that's up here in the bedroom. Now where those wires enter underneath the bed, there's a pretty big grommet that had some gaps in it that I had to seal up. So let's go check that out. All right, so now I'm laying underneath the camper looking up where all this power comes into the camper and you can see that I've put a ton of tape around this because there were some really big gaps where a mouse could easily crawl in between all these wires. I think it would actually be better if I would stuff some steel wool in here instead of the tape. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so there's another really vulnerable place where mice can get into these campers and it has to do with the stairs. So let's check it out. The way these stairs work is there's a bolt that goes through this bracket right here and it rides through this channel. And when the stairs are up, this bolt slides all the way back into the back of this channel. So unfortunately, that's a very vulnerable place for mice to get in. And actually on my camper, this little underbelly pan was hanging down and there's a pretty big gap right here too. So I did seal that up with some tape. You can't actually tape this groove shut or else this bolt won't be able to slide into it. So what I did is I know that peppermint is a natural mouse deterrent. So I got some peppermint bags, these little oil soaked bags, and I dropped them inside of these slots to try to deter anything from coming through. 
Same thing on the right side of my stairs right here. I taped up that gap and dropped some peppermint oil bags in that hole too. So even with doing all that stuff on the outside, there's still a chance that a mouse could get in. I mean, they don't need much of a space to get in. And once they're inside your frame, it's really easy for them to find a little hole to pop out into the inside of your camper. Let me show you a couple of little vulnerable spots that I found inside that I sealed up. The first one is right inside my door here where my fire extinguisher is. I've got a subwoofer buried back here, but there's also some electricity that comes through at the very bottom corner down here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a hole here where there's some wires coming through. So what I did was fill that hole with steel wool, making it a little bit more challenging for those boogers to get in. Another spot I found is inside the cabinet where my water pump is. All the way in the back back here, there's a hole in the wall that something could easily crawl through if it got in between the layers of aluminum. So I did the same thing with the steel wool back there. And then in our 27 foot Airstream here, we have another hole back behind these drawers. So I pulled the drawers out, stuffed steel wool in that hole too. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any other tips for keeping mice out of your Airstream. And since you're into Airstreams, check out the video that's up on your screen to see some of the cheap but awesome upgrades that we've made to our Airstream. Have a good day.